Hey guys, Fanciful D here. Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a custom light up wall sign. Hello. To do this project, you're going to need a small piece of plywood, some LEDs, a couple finishing boards, and some hand tools. If you haven't had a chance, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. All right, so the, one of the first things that we're gonna do with this project is go ahead and square off your piece of wood and cut it down to size. All right, go ahead and cut a piece of transfer paper off large enough to cover the entire face of your sign. Line your template up at the top of the piece of wood, fold it over the top to prevent it from sliding around while you're tracing it. Go ahead and trace around everything that you want cut out. Remember that the transfer paper will transfer it onto the wood, so every line that you draw will end up on the wood. Remove the transfer paper and we're ready for cutting. Make sure you secure it down to your bench so that it doesn't slip while you're cutting the sign out of the faceplate. Now, once you have your logo cut out, uh, the next process is going to be sanding and smoothing everything down, making sure all those rough edges are smoothed down. Now grab the steam that you've selected, go ahead and open it, grab something to apply it to the wood with because it's time to stain the face of your sign. Once you've completely dried your stain, go ahead and apply any stencils or logos that you want to to the front of the sign. After that, we're cutting out the three boards that go across the bottom and two sides. This is what we'll stick LEDs to. Apply a paint that will complement the stain on the front. I painted them black because it complemented the color of the stain that I chose. But you could choose any color that you want. Line it up with a small lip on either side. Once you have it lined up, go ahead and nail it into place with a finishing nail. I used one and a quarter inch nails. Once
Once that's done, go ahead and flip your board over so that we can install the LEDs. Start from one side and loop them all the way around, pulling the sticky off the back and pressing it firmly into the wood. If it's too long, you may have to cut it. The next thing is to put a small hole at the bottom for your wires to run through. Put a staple in the top so that it doesn't pull your LEDs off. Now it's time to test them. Go ahead and fasten the back in the same way that you put the front on. Once you've done this, your sign is complete and it's time to hang it. Thanks for watching another episode. Uh, go ahead and hit the notification bell down below to get notifications every time I release an episode. I don't know why you're still here. The video's over.